Hello and welcome to the Success Bytes series. Today, we'll be talking about how you can expand your connector deployment in a methodical fashion. During this video, we will discuss that how you can use the deployment framework to help you deploy Cisco secure endpoint connectors to end user devices in a phased approach. We'll go deeper into each of the phases and share some best practices to avoid any pitfalls. Let's get right in. Cisco has created a framework that outlines the recommended four stages for successfully deploying Cisco Secure Endpoint. The flow presented on this slide serve as a general guidance for customers to use within their environment. Let's look at each stage of the framework and see what each stage represents. Let's start with information gathering. Information gathering is a necessary starting point that ensures the smoothest deployment experience and configuration of secure endpoint. Information gathering consists mainly of three parts. Each part requires answering a few questions to help you collect this information. First set of questions pertain to gathering information about the existing environment. As an example, these could be number of endpoints in the deployment, what operating systems are in your environment, what are the mission-critical systems in your organization? How do you deploy software in your organization? Is there a proxy present and so on? The second set of questions are related to security product information for an existing security solution you may have in place. We recommend to utilize information using the, the product documentation for current endpoint security solution. The questions could be as an example that either you have existing endpoint security product, does it have applications or IP whitelist and block list? Does Cisco Secure Endpoint also have the capability to match all the features of your current endpoint security software, who will need access to the management console, so on and so forth. And finally, we need to collect information on current audit and compliance requirements. These could be things such as what are government compliance standards your organization is subject to like PCI and GDPR, how long should you keep audit logs, etc. Cisco Secure Endpoint can store the logs for 30 days, but for additional retention, you can utilize the event streaming functionality. The next stage in our framework is design and deployment. During this stage, we are focusing on policies and how each policy may affect a certain set of users. This is a very important step as groups and policies are the fundamental building blocks in organizing your deployment and you should carefully map out a group and policy structure when you're nearing your deployment. You should plan to roll out at least 50% of your licenses so be sure to include all of the target user groups as part of your design. Administrators needs to put thought and document that how are they going to segment the user endpoints, how will groups be organized, how will policies be configured and organized, what policy settings will you be enabling for your workstations? Based on your environment, you will probably have more than one policy. Perhaps your workstations and servers will have slightly different policies. During this stage, you also need to plan your rollout strategy like which deployment architecture, which user groups will be testing, etc. Once you have certain numbers of connectors installed in a lab environment, it is time to move to the next stage, which is operate. This section provides strategies to optimize features or functionalities and secure endpoint. As new options, features, and security fixes are released, it's recommended that a review is conducted of new connector versions to upgrade the endpoint for improved production during this stage. Accordingly, a review of the policies you have in place and which engine to run for each policy may also be needed. Do not shy away from updating the policies since this may have an impact on the success of deployment process. As an admin, you can continue to monitor the rollout and add custom exclusions. Since we're still testing the installation at this point, we are should also be focusing on optimizing the performance. For this you may require some additional troubleshooting. Once we get past operate stage, we can look at secure endpoint in the bigger picture such as how you can blend it into your existing security architecture. Let's say you also have some existing security solutions in your environment, such as secure firewall, security email, cognitive threat analytics, Fregrid, etc. You can choose to integrate secure endpoint to any or all of them, so that when secure endpoint sees a threat in one place, it will be blocked elsewhere by other solutions. This is where Cisco Securix comes in. You should activate Securix. 
Cisco Securix is Cisco's fully integrated security platform that allows you integrate not only secure endpoint, but also all Cisco security solutions and other third-party products. With SecureX, you can enhance the secure endpoint solution with sophisticated threat hunting tools, security automation and orchestration. The Securix platform allows us to have everything in a single place, which allows you to not only monitor every single event, but also gives you the power to automate and share threat intelligence, coming from our other security solutions and Talos threat intelligence. Once you've achieved the integrations, it's to move to put them into action, which is security operations. This phase represents basically the work of Security Operations Center or SOC, who will perform tasks such as investigations and incident response. They are the ones who will be utilizing and taking advantage of all the integrations during event investigations, threat hunting, including utilizing orbital search. Last but not least, we come to systems management. During this stage, we encourage you to update policies to reflect your changing environment and the changing threat vectors. Schedule regular updates, continue to learn about secure endpoint and its advanced capabilities. That's all we have today. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. See you in the next one.